Wiki jana serikali ilikaza kamba zaidi na kuweka vikwazo na sheria mpya za kuzuia msambao wa corona nchini. Lakini hatua hii inaonekana kutonesha kidonda kwenye uchumi unaoyumba yumba kwa sasa, kwani watu wengi wanaotegemea sekta muhimu za kibiashara wamesalia kwenye njia panda. Immediately that announcement was done. We had a, 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 a drop of up to 90% of ourselves. Immediately. Now we are talking about five kama ni upande wa biashara unakuta watu wengi hawakuji kwa sababu ya akitoka job hata yeye anatoka job kaa jana customer alikuwa anatuambia wanatoka four hasa akitoka four ni yangangane na jinsi atenda aku ngangana na jambo wamiliki wa hoteli mjini kama vile Nairobi wanaonekana kuathirika zaidi kwani hoteli nyingi za kuuza mlo zimesalia mahame hapa wengi wakikadiria hasara kubwa kwani mauzo hayaridhishi kufuatia agizo la serikali la kutoruhusu wateja kula ndani ya hoteli I know quite a number who just leave their vehicles out of town come in with an Uber and want to have a, a, a quick meeting and walk away So these are the kind of customers we, we target Now asking them to to have a take away is a tall order because that's not what they expect Hoteli kama vile Cafedeli awali libuni zaidi ya nafasi moja za ajira ila sasa usimamizi umelazimika kuwapiga kalamu wafanyikazi wengi na kusalia na kumi pekee A nice opening for them when we were now revamping this place and getting them back to work but we only managed to get them back to work for two days and uh, close down again um, you could see that in their faces it's it was painful very painful. Hatua ya serikali kuweka vikwazo kwa mara nyingine ili kuzuia msambao wa COVID-19 inaonekana kwa hujumu tenda kazi wa wanabiashara. Najua mbeleni ulikuwa na time nyingi ya kuuza jioni wakitokea kazi eh wanakupitia. So unakuta time ni kidogo na pesa hakuna. Sekta ya utalii aidha imeathirika pakubwa kwani baada ya dalili za biashara kufufuka kushuhudiwa mwanzoni mwa mwaka huu hali imekuwa tata tena. Hii ikiwa ni moja wapo ya vitega uchumi vikuu kwa taifa. Mwaka jana pekee sekta hii ilirekodi hasara ya takriban shilingi bilioni na kumi kati ya mwezi Januari na Oktoba. Kulingana na wananchi wengi, kadri ya siku zinavyosonga hali huenda ikawa tata zaidi endapo vikwazo vilivyowekwa havitalegezwa. The banks are on our necks they want their money. Irrespective of the fact that they do actually know what happened but at the end of the day they still have obligations. Nixon Kisaka K24 Samoja.